In this video, IA Paths, Chris Stanley is gonna show you the top three things you need to do before you even think about handling auto claims as an IA, starting now. This is Adjuster TV. Hey, it's Matt here with Adjuster TV. And for the best tips and tools for getting on the first call list as a cat property independent adjuster, subscribe now. Click on the bell notification and you'll be on your way. And thanks to Charles from YouTube who says, very good videos and informative to people who are experienced and just beginning. I have worked for large insurance companies as a staff adjuster and have worked multiple cat storms and I still learn something from your videos. Hey Charles, thank you so much for watching. So I frequently get asked this question. Why are you doing this, Matt? Here's the deal. It's not easy to get started as an independent adjuster. It's really challenging, but people go through all the hoops and a few years later, find themselves in a wonderful and rewarding career, earning great money and being able to take off more time than they would if they worked a regular nine to five. And here's the thing, this work is kind of self-selecting. That is, if you believe you'll never be able to earn more than $50,000 a year or even get on rosters, then that's going to be your reality. But if you believe that all you have to do to get where we are is to put your shoulder into it a little bit and start taking steps in this direction, then you'll probably do just fine as an independent adjuster. And the key word here is independent. You have to believe that what you dream is actually possible. That's the thing that's gonna keep you putting one foot in front of the other. And I'm going to be totally honest with you. There are no shortcuts to becoming a busy working IA. However, there is a path you can follow, a path that's been forged by others who are willing to share what we learned the hard way. We crashed through the woods, found ourselves underwater with no lifesaver, beat our heads against walls, and climbed ladders with nothing at the top. We've done all of this to find the path to success in this field, and that's why we're here. If the only reason you can't find good information about this job is that people who are in this job don't want you to come in and compete with them, then how does that help our industry as a whole? It just doesn't. All that does is create an exclusive old boys club that is resistant to letting new people in. But we need new people in this industry. We need fresh faces and talent. People who are willing to work hard and help us improve across the board to help us be better as a group. We need this. We need you. I kind of came out of left field. All right, Chris, take it away, brother. Thanks, Matt. Appreciate it. All right, now you, the IA who is listening, who's interested in learning how to start handling auto claims, you need to pay attention. So I'm about to tell you a bunch of secrets. Not really. What I'm about to share with you is very straightforward and full of common sense. But you probably need to hear these things if you're watching this video. If you want to handle auto claims, there are three major things that you need to be able to do and accomplish before you can ever start. Now there's lots of little steps in here, but I'm just gonna give it to you in big consumable pieces. Number one, you need to freaking know what you're doing. Okay, now I'm not that mean guy on Facebook or LinkedIn or catadjuster.org that's like, hey, you need to get out of the industry. You don't know what you're doing. That's not me. I'm here to help you know what you're doing but they have a point we need to help you know what to do you need to know how to write an estimate whether it's on a vehicle or whether it's on property you need to understand vehicles you need to understand auto damage repair you need to understand that so however you go about learning that however you go about learning the software doesn't matter but you got to understand it and not in a well, I clicked all the buttons to get through the Auditex certification, so it's printed out this little thing, and I obviously know about Auditex. iFirms can see through that. When they talk to you, they know almost instantly whether you are legit or not. So, number one is you gotta know what you're doing. So figure that out. How you get trained in auto estimatics, auto body, damage estimating, or software. The second thing you need to do is, surprise, you need to be a business, a legit business. You need to have a bank account. You need to have an EIN number. You need to have an LLC, S Corp, a DBA, talk to an accountant, because that's not my specialty. You need to have all that crap in order. You need to have a business and be a business entity. Now, you also need to consider insurance. What insurances do you need? You know insurance? Not my specialty. Look at the Matthew Allen video. That'll answer some questions for you about E&O insurance. 
but you need to have those things in order before you ever can handle your first auto claim. Now the last thing that you need to consider and get in order and have before you start handling auto claims, ta-da, you need customers. My goodness, it's complicated, isn't it? We need customers. We need people who are going to send us claims. This comes back to marketing and sales. Now there's some really basic things that you can do like have a solid resume that's nice, clean, good headshot. You need something like that, just freaking email me. I'll give you a template from WordDoc that you can use, seriously. This isn't hard, but you need to have a good looking resume that's accurate and all the right information in it. Contact information. You need to have a good LinkedIn profile. It helps. If you're on Facebook, make sure your Facebook profile is professional. Don't go looking like a clown because then everyone thinks you're a clown, right? Then you need to start reaching out and actually talking to the customers. You can't get a customer without selling and marketing to that customer. So they're not just going to magically tap you on the shoulder you have an adjuster's license, will you please come work for us? Now, sometimes that happens, but that is not the normal story. You need to be diligently pursuing your customer. You've probably heard this annoying stat somewhere that it takes like seven touches, seven before anyone ever trusts you. So you need to contact an IA firm on average seven times before they'll even start to trust you. You need to have those interactions over and over again. Okay, so let's recap. Number one, before you can start handling auto claims, before you can get to that point and even consider it, number one, you need to know what the heck you're doing. Okay, number two, you need to be a business and set up as such. And number three, you gotta go find some customers. All right, Matt, sending it back to you. And by the way, the e &L video is coming soon, so stay tuned for that. Question of the day, are you willing to do what it takes to climb to the top of the right ladder in this industry? Give us a thumbs up in the comments. And for much more information about becoming an independent adjuster handling auto claims, head on over to adjustertv.com slash auto. And if you got value from this video, you can help me create more videos just like this by hitting the round subscribe button. Wondering what to watch next? Check out these videos. And as always, thank you so much for watching and have a great storm. Did you know that the first French fries weren't actually cooked in France? They were cooked in Greece.